start off here tonight with yet another sign that cruises are ready to hit the high seas again. This is video here of Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas pulling into Port Everglades here in Florida today, preparing to set sail next month. And Royal Caribbean already reversing course on its vaccination policy, saying they will not be requiring proof of vaccination from passengers. But other cruise lines have not yet changed their policies. Coronavirus still a big concern for passengers. The governor's ban on businesses requiring proof of vaccination is currently at direct odds with the CDC's requirement of cruise lines to have 95% of passengers fully vaccinated. The question is, how will cruise lines check for vaccination status before setting sail? Well, tonight, ABC Action News reporter McKenna King is here with the story. July 10th, we're supposed to be heading out on a eight-day cruise to Aruba and all that. It's a cruise the Trader family planned to take last year before the pandemic shut the industry down. I think we're at to six cancellations. The dream trip. But Stephen worries it's in limbo. He and his wife are planning to take their three kids. The family is fully vaccinated, all but their six-month-old daughter, Elizabeth. She can't get a vaccine yet. It's heartbreaking for us because, you know, we, we work really hard all year to give our kids these amazing experiences. They're waiting to hear back from Carnival about whether Elizabeth can be included in the 5% of people not vaccinated on board. But the CEO of Port Everglades says people are going to have to be flexible when it comes to cruise plans this year. Well, I think there's going to be some questions as to whether those particular cruises that people might be uh, signed up for actually do occur or whether they're going to be uh, whether they're going to be pushed back. Another big question is with Florida's ban on vaccine passports how will cruise lines check vaccination status in order to meet the 95% vaccination requirement the CDC has set? Both cruise lines and the governor's office, they want cruising to begin again. It's such a, a significant part of the economy, uh, all parts of, of Florida. And because of that, they are going to ultimately work uh, hopefully together to come to some type of, of resolution. Here's what cruise lines are saying so far. Carnival says their cruises are available to guests who are fully vaccinated and who have proof of vaccination. Norwegian says all crew and guests must be fully vaccinated. Celebrity says it will sail with at least 95% of crew and guests being vaccinated. And Royal Caribbean opted for simulated voyages to avoid the 95% vaccination requirement. Still, they say around 90% of their vacationers are either vaccinated or planning to get vaccinated. We've reached out to each cruise line to see what their plans are for obtaining proof of vaccination. We'll bring you that information as we get it. McKenna King, ABC Action News.